welcome back to the channel again everybody we're venturing into the shed i'm gonna get well i'm gonna try to get the little cat 10 started running and moved out of here today because i'm trying to get into this crate and this crate for starting engine candidates for the 1113 d2 build so yeah my little caterpillar 10 smallest tractor cat ever made it's uh poor thing just sits around too much um i got too much stuff i just i don't have time to take proper care of it, it sits in here all the time i've already cleaned out the sediment bowl once already i did splash some fresh gas in the tank turned the valve on got a little bit of debris down into there so i shut the valve back off took that off cleaned it out and uh filled it again made sure there's no leaks so we're good there engine oil's been checked we should still be good on coolant oh yeah there's a liquid in there so we'll just crank her up today i think i'm going to uh prime a little bit of fuel in the intake through the two petcocks see if that makes her take a little better and the clutch is awfully grabby on this this is the one that i had split and replaced the throw out bearing in there the release bearing because it was rough and uh it's grabby because like i said the thing sits too much i get it out and drive it around a little bit and just about the time i'm ready to park it it's really good and then it sits for another year and a half i don't run it and then i come back and it's back to being grabby again so it might be a little jumpy you're either moving or you're not with this thing making sure all the levers feel good yet brake pedals good clutch pedal feels good i think we're ready to try it Okay, we're all primed up in neutral. Give it some choke. Tell you what, let's make sure the throttle is good. Three notches, that should be a decent idle. Ignition is on, let's see what happens. My handle is uh, squeaky on my hand crank here. Well, it sounded all right, huh? on that thing it's still a little grabby started up pretty well though we got it running i think i'm just going to drive it around a little bit loop everything up again all right let's see if i remember how to drive this clutch pedal on the left the easier track brakes on the right and that still confuses me because i keep thinking that's a brake that's the way the d2s are the d6s everything i'm used to but press the clutch all the way down for the clutch brake and we will go First gear should be there. Give it some throttle. Release the clutch. Look, grabby. And this thing's narrow. Look at it. You just leave little tracks. <laughs> probably cleaning up the drums yet.
shut the gas off on it for now, just let it sit here and run out. Man, that thing's fun. I need to drive that more often. I think it's running out. Yep. Actually a good runner. Tried to fall over, didn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the heavy side for sure. Oh, there we go. There, I got my crates out of the shed. Let's see if we can get the Cat 10 put back in. Why oh, that little bugger's got some sharp grousers on it yet. Sure it tears up the ground. Love it. Yeah, I gotta drive this thing more often. I keep forgetting how fun this is. A lot of work left to do to it. Um, oh, I'll just pop up a link to the playlist of all the repairs they did to this thing. I split it and replaced the clutch release bearing. That turned into a complete rebuild of all of the bottom track rollers. I still need to do a complete rebuild of both front idlers. Shafts are a little wonky. I think we have some wear, some excessive uh, clearance in there. It's got a leak down on the bottom from one of the final drives. It needs a whole lot of work yet before I'm really happy with it, but it's a fun little toy. Let's see if I can make it start again. That does it. Get the exhaust stack covered up after it cools off, of course. Cat 10's back in the shack. Got my grates out so the starting engine build can start for old 1113. Boy, that thing's fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please tune in again.